The Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus is also known as the World Day of Prayer for the Sanctification of Priests. This feast reminds us of the mystery of the love of God for the people of all times. It suggests to us that the Eucharist, Corpus Christi, is none other than the heart of Jesus himself, of the one who takes care of us with his heart. This is Sister Daisy for today's Gospel Power. Since it was the day of preparation, the Jews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, especially because that Sabbath was a day of great solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. He who saw this has testified so that you also may believe. His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of Scripture says, They will look on the one whom they have pierced. My brothers and sisters, Jesus voluntarily lays down his human life to grant the gift of divine life to the world. Death is not forcefully brought upon him as it is to the two men crucified with him through the breaking of their legs. In the case of Jesus, this measure is unnecessary, for he has freely handed over his spirit as a majestic king who has fulfilled his mission. But just to make sure that Jesus is already dead, one of the soldiers thrust his lance on his side. As blood and water flow profusely from the open wound, the evangelist recognizes in this happening the fulfillment of Jesus' own words. Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scriptures have said, from his heart shall flow streams of living water. The evangelist explains further that this living water is the Spirit, the gift bestowed at the price of death. There is no limit to love's giving. Only love can reach out beyond death and continue giving. Let us pray. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the Gospel. Yeah.